Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ronnie and today I am recording my first poker vlog on the channel and today we're gonna be playing Crazy Pineapple at this local poker club called The Reserve and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. So we're starting this tournament off on the button and the blinds are currently at 100-100 and the first hand we end up picking up is Ace-4-5-2 hearts and this is actually the second time I've played a Crazy Pineapple tournament so this is gonna be interesting. In the beginning, we got two limpers, and then when it gets to the cutoff, he decides to race to 1100. And I also decided to call because I got a couple of draws, straight draw, flush draw, and I got a pretty decent hand. And the guy to my left in the small blind ends up calling, the big blind ends up calling the under the gun, and now we're swinging on the plus one. And he eventually calls, and it's gonna be six ways to the flop. All right, let's see it. And the flop is queen of clubs, eight of spades, and nine of spades. At this point, we realize we've totally missed all of our draws and everything. And in the beginning, it just checks around until he gets back to the cutoff. It was the pre-flop raiser. And he decides a continuation bet for 2,700, and we decide to fold. And for our second hand, we look down in the low jack position and we see ace five ace. And at this point, we got a lot of limpers on the table and not many people are raising that much. And when it comes around to me, I decide to raise it to 600 in the low jack position. Once I raise it up to 600, the guy to my left also decides to call. And I probably should have raised it a little bit higher, even though it is three X, it is early in the tournament and a lot of people are splashy. And now we just end up waiting and see that the big blind called, and once it gets to the plus one, he also decides to call. And now going to the flop, the flop is eight of spades, four of clubs, and two hearts. This is actually a really good flop for us, but we do end up just deciding to check it through, even though not looking back at it, I probably should have bet on this flop because we do have a gut shot straight draw. We also do have a pocket fives, which do pretty good on this board. But since we do, since everybody just decides to check it through, we decide to get rid of the ace and keep the pocket fives because it's pretty good on this board texture. Going to the turn, the turn is now a four of diamonds, and that is a really good card for our hand because we do improve the two pair. Someone could have an eight with fours, but in this situation, a lot of people probably just have over cards. They could have a two, or they could be also on a straight draw like I was. And the plus one ends up deciding to raise it up to 1700. I do end up calling with two pair. And the guy next to me in the small blind does end up calling also. And it's three ways to the river. And now going to the river. The river is a seven of spades. And with anybody with five, six does hit their straight. But I do have a pocket five, which does block it. So that gives me the incentive to continuation bet for 2000 and the person next to me in the high check does end up calling pretty quickly and he ends up showing 5-6 and he does end up hitting the straight. So nice hand to that guy and let's get on to the next one. Going on to the next hand with the blinds at 200-400, we end up looking down at queen, 10, 9 with two hearts. And we're in an under gun position and we do end up raising it to 1200. It's not that big of a raise. I definitely could have raised a little bigger with early position. And I do have straight draw and flush draw. And there's just a lot of opportunity that I have. And it does go around to where the low jack end up calling, small blind, big blind, and also the bun. So it goes five ways. Hmm. And now going to the flop. The flop is queen of diamonds, three diamonds, and six of hearts. We do end up hitting top pair with our queen, and we do have a pretty decent kicker with the ten of hearts, or even the nine of hearts, whichever one I want to play with. But I do decide a continuation bet for 2,000 this time, and the low jack does end up calling, and when it gets to the bun, he ends up folding, the small blind ends up folding, and also once it gets to the big blind, he ends up throwing his cards away too. So now it's just heads up between me and the low jack. And I decide to get rid of the nine in my hand and keep the 10. And going on to the turn, the turn is a nine of clubs. And even though I did throw away a nine and I could have hit two pair on the turn, I do decide a continuation bet for 2,500. And now going on to low jack, he does decide to call and going on to the river 
is a 10 of diamonds and we end up hitting two pair on the river so now we're gonna keep value betting and we're throwing out 3500 and he does seem to be calling pretty quickly and he does end up calling my river bet and we do end up showing two pair our queens and tens for two pair and we do end up winning a decent pot from that and now let's get on to the next hand now going on to the next hand we do end up picking up nine king queen all rainbow it's still 200 400 going around and currently we are in the big blind position and going around it goes to the underground plus one he does end up pushing it up to 2200 after he raises it up to 2200 the low jack folds the high jack folds the button folds and once it gets around to the small blind he does end up calling 2200 and i do myself since we have a pretty good hand we do have straight draws out there and we do have some pretty high cards so now going on to the flop the flop is nine of hearts four of diamonds and five of clubs and this isn't the best flop for me and probably everybody at the table to be honest but we do end up hitting the nine and the small blind ends up checking. I also do end up checking myself. And then the guy in the under gun plus one, he does end up going all in. So we look down at our cards again. We do have top pair on board and we do have a really good kicker. And it is only 5,000 to call. So the small blinds end up calling the 5,000. And I also do end up calling for the 5,000. And we look down at our hand and we end up throwing the queen of hearts away. So we're still, on, we're still on board with top pair and top kicker. So now it's three ways to the turn. And the turn is a five of diamonds. Doesn't really do anything to my hand. Probably doesn't do anything to my opponent's hand. So the small blind just ends up checking and I check right after him. And now onto the river, it's just a deuce of clubs and it's just a brick board. So me and the small blind do end up checking. And I have nines with fives. The small blinds have sevens with fives, but the person who went all in at undergun plus one, he does have pocket jacks. Now going on to our next hand, we look down in our cards and we see ace, king, nine, two hearts. Blinds are at still 200, 400. We're in the low jack position currently. And the two of diamonds was exposed while dealing, but that doesn't affect our hand any. And while we wait for it to go around, the small blind and the under the gun decide to limp in. Once it gets to the middle position, he does end up raising it to 2,500. And I do have a really good hand to call, so I throw uh, 2,500 out there. The hijack and the cutoff decides to insta-fold. The bun does also fold. And once it gets to the small blind, he ends up going all in. Big blind folds. Under the gun, he also does end up going all in. And the under the gun plus one, he ends up folding. Now it's up the middle position to see if he's going to call the all-in. And he does end up taking for about a minute or two. And in that minute or two, I'm just thinking to myself, do I want to call this? Do I want to risk all my chips out there? I do only have about a little over 20 or a little under 20. But he does decide to rip it all in. And I look back down at my hand. And ace-king, I think, is a good hand to flip with. We also do get to see the flop beforehand. So I decided to grab all my chips and rip it all in. And let's try to quadruple up. And at this point, we're hoping to quadruple up and get all of our chips back. This pot's probably going to be around 70 to 80K. So I'm really hoping to win this. Hopefully, the flop, hopefully I flop something good. Hopefully, I hit two pair, maybe even a straight draw or a flush draw. We look back down at the cards and make sure we got what we got. And now onto the flop. The flop is 5-4-5. Five, five. So disappointing. The flop is just a brick. We hit nothing. And at this point, we just have to get rid of the nine of hearts and hope to hit an ace or a king. At this point, I'm just praying that we hit either an ace or a king in our hand. And hopefully our opponents don't have any pocket pairs. But they possibly could. But we're just going to hope for the best. And we do turn over ace king and we are up against pocket jacks and pocket queens so we're totally behind right now and the turn is another five and the river is a king and we end up boating up against everybody else who has pocket queens and pocket jacks so we end up winning this all and we win a huge pot on this one nice hand to the people i was playing against but i end up sucking out on the river and getting a huge pot Look at this. This is crazy. We just end up quadrupling up. Let's get it. Oh, he 
right now going on to the next hand oh after that God. huge pot. We look down at King Jack King. We got pocket kings with the spade draw. And we do end up deciding to raise it. And we end up raising it to 2,500. The guy after me in middle position ends up calling. The low jack right after him ends up calling. And then high jack ends up folding. The cutoff folds. It gets on the button. He calls the 2,500. The small blind calls the 2,500. And the big blind calls the 2,500. So it's going to be five ways, or actually six ways, to the flop. And hopefully we end up hitting something. We get the spade draw. There's a straight draw out there. But we do have pocket kings, which is really good. And now going to the flop. The flop is 10 of hearts, 5 of diamonds, and 4 of diamonds. We don't hit anything on the flop, but we do have our pocket kings in our hands. We can't hit a spade draw anymore, and the guy in the small blind, he does end up ripping it all in. And at this point, I ask for a count. I'm looking over at his chips, and it's probably a little over 30,000. And we're just waiting for the count at this moment. Then once we get it, the count is 33,500. And honestly, for having pocket kings on this board, I think it was a good idea to call this. So we do end up throwing 33,500 in there. Then the guy after me, he does fold. But the guy to the left that was after him, he does end up ripping it all in. And he does have my stack covered. So... Now I'm thinking he could be on a diamond draw, or he could even be on a straight draw with 6-7 or even 2-6. But we look down at our hand again, and I think at this point we're just deciding to go on. So we put the jack forward to keep our pocket kings into this pot. With pocket kings, it could be a really good hand or a really bad hand. And we do end up shoving all in. So hopefully... We hit something with our kings or have the board pair so we can hit two pair. And when I end up showing kings, my opponent to the left of me, he ends up showing 10-4 for two pair. And the turn is a nine and the river is a jack. And we end up breaking out and not hitting anything. So GG's that guy. Hey guys, thank you all for watching the video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button and let me know what you guys think of the video. And in the future, I'll be posting just mainly a uh, regular No Limit Hold'em. But if you guys do enjoy Pineapple or Omaha, I will post that for you guys. And also I will be posting cash games in the future. So I just want to thank you all again for watching this video and see you guys next time.